Welcome to Jack Price Stadium in Ames, Iowa, where the Cardinal and Gold gathering strength as they gear up to support their Iowa State Cyclones. What a game we have in store for you today. A Big 12 showdown, and the implications could last for the rest of the season. As we'll see, the Baylor Bears taking on a squad hoping to prevent another L this week, the Iowa State Cyclones. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. He'll bring it out. It's Jackson. Gets it out to the 20, about five yards short of where he'd be if he'd just taken a knee in the end zone. The Cyclones offense will get the first swing of the game. And this big fella can beat you in a number of different ways in the passing game, David. He has so much fun to have a guy that I can rely on, that can beat guys over the middle of the field, that can beat man-to-man -man coverage. This guy's the ultimate weapon. And I love that this guy has an awesome catch radius. You don't have to be perfect as a quarterback when you throw to him. He can make you look good. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. Dropping back, it's Beck. They're trying to get to it. And the pass rush is effective, and they tackle him at the 19. And that is how you silence this raucous crowd. Defensively on the road, first drive of the game, setting the tone, getting a huge sack on third down. And the Cyclones will punt it away on fourth down. Slips through the line. This guy is a daring punt return man. He's not going to settle for the fair catch. A solid return gets a little bit of ground for the offense. So Baylor's offense will try to get something going with their first possession. On first down, here comes this offense. From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Got three on first down, it's second and seven. Looking for a crease, it's Richardson. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. On third down, he drops to throw. Coming after him. Trying to make magic with his feet. Still running at the 40. Picks up the first down and gets down to avoid contact. The Bears come to the line with a new set of downs. He'll pull it on the read. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. Stuck with a running game on first down. Now here they come again. Caught in the backfield, it's Johnson. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Now facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. They're bringing heat. And he scoots his way to the first down and then slides to avoid the hit. And the Bears are on the move. They run the reverse. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. They've got a really good drive going, but a little speed bump here at second and 13. He'll try to pop the draw. Thrust that arm out. Just trucks through it. And he was able to run through a tackle, and they finally get him, but not until he picks up the first down. They'll ride the hot hand. Pickup of one, it's down at the 11. 
going to work in the red zone, they can pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. They'll run it from the gun. And he'll step into the end zone. Touchdown, Baylor! And they just keep feeding it to their workhorse back to open this game. Great job in the open field. He's got tremendous vision. He can make people miss. You saw all of that on display here in the opening drive. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point makes it 7-0. That drive covered 55 yards for the score. And it was punctuated by an 11-yard run for the score. And they desperately wanted to attempt a return, but decided not to. Instead, they'll take the touchback. And off from the shotgun. At the 35, he's open. He showed it all there. A little elusiveness, a little power, and he's got the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They're getting this guy lathered up. And they're able to shove him to the turf as they stop him for a short game. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Leaves it with the running back. And he has a solid game before the defense bottles him up. Line is set on third down. Looking to throw for it. Getting some heat. Fires to the tight end. He steps out of bounds, but it will be enough for a first down. Used to play fake, now to throw. Deep shot for the end zone. And that ball was in harm's way, and he is lucky to get that one back. The incompletion on first down leaves him with second and 10 from the 43. Dropping back, it's Beck. Takes the easy throw in the flat. On the move at the 30. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. And that's why this guy is such a weapon in this offense, because you don't have to throw it far downfield. Just get the ball in his hands. He catches it close to the line of scrimmage, but look what he was able to do after the catch. He gets an explosive play for this offense. They're in the red zone. First and 10 from the 20. Wide receiver shows motion. Out of the gun. The running back has it. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Lost yardage on that last one. It's second and 11. Give to the running back. He's brought down, but not before they pick up the big first down. On the doorstep of cashing it in for the offense. Snapped it in the shotgun. It's complete on the right side. That's a really good tackle there, giving up some size and still making the play. They'll leave it with him. And he gets it back to the four-yard line and no farther. As they get set to snap at time, winding down here in the quarter. They're going to throw it on third and goal. Pocket starts to collapse. And he sprints to the end zone. Touchdown, Cyclone! You know what? Methuselah lived 969 years. He was born and died in the amount of time it took them to walk it down the field and score that touchdown. <laughs> That's just so frustrating. Play after play after play, you line up, you try to do your assignment, and you fail, and they cap it off with a touchdown. Oh, Methuselah. They'll try to tack one more on their score. Splits those uprights right in half. 
How about these two running games so far? Dominance on the ground as we look at the first quarter stats. We've got a good one going here and looking forward to keep those vibes rolling here in the second. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. And it'll come out to the 25. No attempt at a return. Baylor has it back, and here comes the Bear offense. After standing on the sideline and watching that long touchdown drive, they really need to put something together to give their defense a rest. And that's a real thing, man. Like, you played a lot of plays, you get worn out. You need a chance to go decompress on the sideline, get some oxygen. Palmer, now it's on this offense. Yeah, this is the definition of complementary football because it's a two-pronged problem. You've got to score points and answer, but you've also got to take your time and give your defense an opportunity to get their win. And he'll be run out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. Not a very productive play there. Feeling some heat. And the quarterback bought a little time. Actually, bought a lot of time, but not enough time. The defense gets to it. Defensive linemen live to get after the quarterback, to get sacks, to get by those big hot mollies up front and the offensive line and say, you taste dirt. The Bears will try to pin them back with the punt. Three and out, they got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. Gets the first one of the day out of there. He ought to be fresh. They only used him twice in that victory last week. He's brought down, but a really solid effort to pick up every bit of yardage he could on the punt return. The pull and throw off the RPO. And I think this receiver's forte is his route running. He's a guy that can line up all over the field, but it's not just catching post routes and goes. This guy can run shallows. He can run slants. He can run the option routes and find nothing but green ahead. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Iowa State. Huge play. It's so nice to have guys that can create these explosive plays like this. You hand it to him, he can do the rest. Look at the speed. Look at the elusiveness. Get into the end zone. Nice run. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the extra point true, and they're on top by seven. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? All right, guys, want to update you on a game that went final moments ago. Penn State was able to squeak one out in front of those home fans at Beaver Stadium. In fact, I think in the end, the difference may have been that Happy Valley crowd who leaves happy with the win. A lot to go through in the film session this week for both teams. But boy, it sure is going to be easier for the side that came away with the win. And Kevin Connors keeping an eye on everything all over the country. Sounds like they had a good one there. Right back to the well. Get him on the ground after a four-yard run out to the 31. Solid pickup of four on first down at second and six. Power football with the run. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. A third and long coming up here. They try to pop a run on the draw. And they did not let him reach the line to gain. It'll bring up a decision here. And the Bears will call on their punt team. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He'll field the punt. The solid return there offsets some of the punt yardage and really sets up this offense nicely. Iowa State sending the offense back out. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. Went to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. It'll be a draw. A confident, tough, efficient run gets it up to the 44. Third and short from the 44, and we might know if they plan to go for it on fourth down by what they call here. 
Nice job to pick up the first down, and they'll spot it at the 42. The Cyclones come to the line with a fresh set of downs. The give out of the gun. Just feeding his pads to the defense as he gets it to the 36. They can really be aggressive after that last play at second and three. Just when they're looking run, now up top. They're working that left side. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. They'll go with a direct snap. Just what they'd hoped for on third down is they've got a first at the 32. And the Cyclones have their offense in high gear. To the air on first down. Finds a tight end. I'll tell you, I love the play call on first down here. You're just trying to find an easy completion. And the shortest throw on the field for the quarterback is finding your biggest target. And that's the tight end. Nice job. And that ball was in harm's way, and he is lucky to get that one back. Ball's at the 26. It's third and short, and they'd love to pick up the first down and avoid settling for the field goal. No more time to throw. Quarterback is sacked at the 35. This offense is going to have to come up with a plan to block this guy. He is an absolute monster, and he showed you all his tools on that sack. The Cyclones decide to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And they can't get on top of it to down it, so that ball will come out to the 20. Here comes the Baylor offense back onto the field. Leaves it with the back. And maybe they want to try somewhere else because there is nothing doing in the middle of this defense. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. Running hard and getting six yards out to the 26. Facing a third down and short from the 26. Looking for a man. It's Finn. Pressure coming. And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. Awesome job by the defense. Not only getting a fast quarterback on the ground, but understanding what he wants to do. He can take off. I got to make sure I got good pursuit angles, and I got to make sure I build rails. I can't let him outside. I got to keep him in the pocket. He tries to get outside. They get the sack and get the huge loss on that play. Timeout is called by the receiving team. Not sure what that one's about. The Bears will line up to punt it away. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. He gets a block. That nifty return sets up the offense and negates some of the yardage on the punt. Trying to start the drive with a pass. Going for it all. Almost intercepted. They took a shot on first down and just about turned the thing over. After the misfire, it's second down. He's looking to throw. Got his man quickly. Yeah, we throw a little hitch route. Nice job getting the ball out of his hands quickly. Wide right receiver, quarterback. Nice job being on the same page. Nice completion, nice catch. Trying to get nowhere to go, and the ball is loose. And the defense jumps on it, and they get that turnover. And maybe this guy was hoping somebody would bail him out, like a tuck rule or something. <laughs> Not going to be so lucky this time around. Give the defense credit. This pass rush is serious. It's real. And this quarterback is now going to have to play with a clock in his head that's going off just a little bit quicker. He's got to do a better job understanding when to get rid of it. Baylor has it back, and here comes the Bear offense. After a punt on their last possession, they are set up in plus territory this time. And honestly, it wouldn't have mattered if this were to touch down their last possession. You've got to be able to turn the page and see this is a brand new opportunity to go get points. Yeah, and your defense has set you up for the position to get points right away. Now, let's get this offense back rolling again. Create some momentum. Just get a few first downs and I'm in scoring position. IndyCar tempo as they hit to the line for this third down play. Clock running. Back to pass. It's Finn. 
They're trying to get to it. And he can't escape, and down he goes. Referee signals timeout. It's the defense wanting to make sure that they have everything just right with a big play coming. Gets it away, good distance, but more importantly, just the direction he wanted. The offense set for a first down play. He wants to throw. He hurls one deep down the left side. He's got it downfield for a huge game. And the tackle is made, but not before. That completion gets him 30-plus. This offensive line does such a good job communicating in their pass protection. You can see guys passing defenders off to one another, and that's why the quarterback had so much time to complete that throw deep downfield. And that one is why offenses are hungry for big, big plays. They've got it first and 10, threatening inside the 30. Incomplete, thanks to the great defensive pressure there that sort of threw them out of rhythm. After the misfire now on second down. He's looking to throw. Coming after him. And the quarterback is toast back at the 35. The offense wastes no time getting the timeout call. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. On third and long, doesn't need to take the check down. And the defense gets loose, bringing the heat, and down he goes again. The defense was in the dime package. They didn't have to send an extra rusher. The big fellas up front took care of that. Yeah, and all Don means is I'm bringing an extra fast guy on the field and taking an extra fat guy off the field. But listen, the fat guys still get home. Isn't that beautiful? The big, athletic defensive line still does a great job getting to the quarterback, getting him on the ground. No return possible on this one. It goes out of bounds, and they'll mark it right around the 30-yard line. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Thanks, fellas. The end of a very intriguing first two quarters of football in Ames. Talk about a first half from that dude out of the backfield. He's been a total game changer. And how many top plays moments have we seen on missed tackles alone? Video game moves from one of the shiftiest players in all of college football. And with that, let's send it back to the guys at Jack Trice Stadium. And the Cyclones will kick it away first, and we'll start the second half. And no chance at a return here. They'll start this drive at their own 25. Here comes the Baylor offense back onto the field. They start this third quarter, one possession game, and hoping to get an early drive going. This offense is ready, and they're ready to take the field here and see if they can get something established. They don't have to change everything and reinvent the wheel. They've had some successes in the first half, so let's get that continued here on the opening ground. Yeah, and I love getting that break at half to go talk with my coaches and pick my offensive coordinator's brain so I know exactly what I need to do to attack this defense, and I get ball first. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And the Bears racing to the line in the hurry up. To the air. It's Finn. They're bringing heat. Trying to make magic on the scramble. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. The Bears send out the punt unit. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. He will not make a fair catch. Feel the punt and bring it back. That's a perfect example of not settling for a fair catch. Pick up whatever yardage you can and help out the offense. Hand off from the gun. A confident, tough, efficient run gets it up to the 44. Got eight on first down, now looking at a second and two. The give to the running back from the shotgun. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. This defense will try to force a fourth down on third and short from the 45. 
to the ground to try to pick up the first. They get him on the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. The Cyclones will line it up on first and ten. The give to the tailback. And a nice run there before the defense finally makes the stop. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves him with second and short. Off the bootleg, wants to toss it. Tight end finds a soft spot. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. He's looking to throw it. Let's it fly deep downfield. And it goes through his hands. Oh, he had an explosive play right there for the taking, but couldn't reel it in. Quarterback on the keeper. They'll give him four on that one. It's third and six. Trying to pick up a first down. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. He's going to run it. He gets the job done, picking up the first down, then getting down. And the Cyclones have moved it inside the 20. Pre-snap motion quarterback trying to get a read. Grabbed over the middle. It's Higgins. That throw and catch gets him down to the six, and the defense is running out of answers. Give to the back. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Not a lot of ground to cover and not much to defend. A big third down in the red zone. Getting some heat. Couldn't quite nudge it in. Not sure you could get much closer, but it'll be first and goal. Defense is backed up. Shadow of the goal post trying to defend their own end zone. And he is swarmed under a host of defenders there to make the stop. See if they can get it done on second and goal. Oh, and they'll try to catch him with a pass. Fires into the end zone. And good coverage there to knock it away and deny the score. They want to fight this one in a phone booth. Three tight ends on the field on third and goal. Power ahead. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Cyclone! This defense is going to have to do a better job being physical. That's two rushing touchdowns they've now allowed. They have got to be better close to the line of scrimmage. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Two very different emotions inside the locker rooms of these teams who did battle today. West Virginia looked like a program ready to take the next step after a big road win today. This was a complete team effort from the Mountaineers. Offense, defense, and special teams doing its part. Heck of a show. 60 minutes of football and a convincing outcome, and certainly a game with implications far beyond just the standings, fellas. Yeah, how about that? Sounds as if they had a good ball game there. Kevin, thanks for the update. And this offense just has to find a way to convert this third down, or else they are really in trouble. Able to make the catch, but not in the field of play. It's an incomplete pass. And the Bears will bring the punt team onto the field. They're up to a half dozen kicks today. Good job by the coverage unit to stop the return man. Iowa State has the ball back. The Cyclones ready to go on offense. David, they love to do what they did last time and put this one in the end zone. You ain't lying. They did a great job. The offense was clicking. Everything went well, Palmer. They execute and got the touchdown. And they really were in a nice rhythm as well. And I'd love to see that here on the next drive, too. Just keep doing what you're doing. Everything seems to be working, and you seem to have this defense on their heels. Just gashing this defense. A big gainer to the 40-yard line. Love to see the fearlessness of a quarterback to work the middle of the field. And he's got
got so much confidence in his own arm talent to be able to get that football there before the defense can break it up. Quickly out to the tight end. Really confident throw and catch there. Big pickup, and they have a first down. The Cyclones come to the line with a new set of downs. Looking to throw, it's Beck. Fires to the wideout. He caught it! And he'll go out of bounds just short of the goal line, and they've got it right on the doorstep. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. The give. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Can the defense stop them again on second and goal? Tries again to get it in. He steps and powers and works his way. They finally get him down at the two. And they've been able to get within two yards. Now will they try to throw it in? Going right back to the well, and this time he finds water. Gets it into the end zone for the touchdown. No midseason doldrums for these guys as they push out the lead in week six. This guy just has a nose for the end zone. Find creases, use his speed in the open field, and go score. He's been really good for his offense early this year. That already his fifth rushing touchdown on the season. Lining up to add another. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll return it. Gets it out to the 20, about five yards short of where he'd be if he'd just taken a knee in the end zone. Baylor has it back, and here comes the Bear offense. Trailing by three touchdowns. If you're going to get back in it, David, the time to start is right now. Got to start now. Defense giving up points on that last possession again. The offense is going to have to score, and Jesse probably score pretty quickly. Yeah, you got to go tempo. You're going to have to try to fit in as many plays as you can throughout the rest of this game, but I think more than that, you've got to eliminate the negative plays. No more penalties and no more turnovers. At the end of the period, and Iowa State has the lead. And as we switch ends of the field, let's take a quick look at the national rankings. One more period to go, and we'll see just how much fight they've got left in them. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. And the Heat will get home, and the quarterback goes down at the 17. And they get him again. This is a offense that you expect them to protect their guy. I mean, he is a dude that you, you know if you give him time, he's going to make plays. But this defense is making sure he's not getting that time. The Bears will punt this one away. He only needs a sliver of daylight. Coverage team able to put a stop to that return at the 42-yard line. Iowa State sending the offense back out. This has been exactly the way you draw things up, David. The offense has really been moving the football. And it's been great execution. They've done exactly what they wanted to do. Build the lead. Now Palmer's a different animal. Now you got to protect it. You can tell they were paying attention in practice this week in the film room because they have gone out. Everybody right now in the center. The offense setting up shop at the 46, first and 10. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. They got nothing on the last play at second and ten. Pick up a five. It'll be third down and five. Trying to pick up a first down. From the gun, the ground game. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. And the Cyclones will send out the punt unit. You'd think they would have had a good chance to down that one deep, but the bounce carries it into the end zone for the touchback. Looking to go up top on first down. Throws for the tight end. Find space on the right. 
A huge gain on that one before he ran out of bounds, and he has the first down. The offense has struggled. They're not going to win this game, but trust me, this coaching staff is still trying to find things to build off of for next week. And after an explosive play like that, maybe they can generate just a little bit of momentum and gain a little bit of confidence that they can keep coaching up heading into their next game. That incompletion leads to second down and 10. Looking for a man, it's Finn. Makes the grab on the left. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. Started this drive with a bang, but now it is third down. They're going to throw it again. Pocket starts to collapse. And the heat gets home. They knock him down back at the 45. And this defense came to play. They know about the high-profile QB. They rose to the challenge and dominated the competition today. They took care of business, and they made no doubt about who's the better football team. Down by multiple possessions. They can't come up empty on this drive in the fourth quarter. They'll go for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Feeling some heat. And he sacked a big play on fourth down to stop this drive. I know that was tough, but as a quarterback, you've got to know on fourth down, you cannot take a sack. Any way, shape, or form, you've got to be able to get rid of that football and give it an opportunity. That time, I know it wasn't blocked perfect, but the quarterback's got to have more sense of urgency. Iowa State has the ball back. The Cyclones ready to go on offense. Looking for a productive play on first down. Give to the running back. And he's almost to that first down marker there, saying he's a little bit short. They might want to bring out the sticks and measure, but it looks as if he'll be just short of the first down. The Cyclones get enough to move the chain. They've got it down to the 32. First and 10 coming. Keeping it on the ground with the single back. They pick up half of it. It'll be second and five. Tried to pound it on first down. Now back to the line. They've got him looking run. Now they're going to throw it. Fires deep toward the end zone. And they can't hook up. Going for the big play on second down. Now it's third down. To the air. It's back. Pressure coming. Pass rush coming after the quarterback, and they get him at the 32. This quarterback is thinking to himself, I need to get an NIL deal at some restaurant so I can take my offensive line out and feed them more because I don't think they like me very much right now. I've been sacked six times in this game. It's time to get that new NIL deal paycheck. And the Cyclones line up to punt it away. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. Another punt on the way. Got to make sure those hammies and glutes all activated. Don't want any muscle pulls from overuse. Here comes the Baylor offense back onto the field. These last couple of drives, Jesse, have been about the defense making clutch stand. I think for this offense, they can stay aggressive knowing that their defense is going to bail them out time and time again. Yeah, and especially when you go for those fourth down situations, you do that a lot of times because you know your defense can make stands, make stops. They did on that last possession for them. Tried to get them a little breathing room, and they're still suffocating in their own end. They'll give it to the back. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. And the Bears will punt it away on fourth down. Sometimes avoiding disaster is the best thing. The punter just gets it out of there. Returns like that are why you don't settle for the fair catch if you don't have to. Picks up just a little bit of yards to help out the O. Movement here from the tight end. Out of the gun to give to the back. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. They'll keep it on the ground to keep this clock moving. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-game land. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. 
out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. The Cyclones will try to pin them back with the punt. And these guys have been busy. Sixth punt of the day. They call it a coffin corner kick for a reason, and you really can't do it any better than that. He puts that thing out of bounds right around the goal line. One running back in the backfield, and he has it. And this run won't give them any more room to operate, but at least they avoided the safety. Yeah, and this offense has to find a way to run the football. They, they got to get more creative, or whatever that looks like for this offense, something to jumpstart them because nothing really going on the ground. Yeah, defensively, though, you got to give them credit, too, because they knew that physically they were going to try to be challenged up. Pressure got to him, couldn't get rid of it, and they got him for a safety. Oh, and how about this defense? Understanding where they are in the field, they got a chance to put points on the board, and they did. After getting caught for a safety, they're lined up and ready to kick it off. On the move, it's Humphrey. Is brought down at the Iowa State sending the offense back out. Firmly in control of this game. We'll see if they just try to run out the clock and get out with a victory. Everybody on offense here should feel really good about their performance today, too, David. They had a really good game plan coming into this one. They went out and they executed at a very high level. Yeah, lights out, and this game's over. I'm interested to see the philosophy now. Do we keep chucking the pill and keep trying to score points? Because it's the defense's responsibility to stop them, or do they just run this clock and say, all right, we did enough today. We kicked them in the face. To the ground with the back. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. Here's the fair catch, and he'll make it close to the 20-yard line. Oh, that was a pretty rough showing there by this team. Just couldn't find a way to get things going and come up with the win. Just got outplayed, Reese. There were moments in this game. There were plays to be had and plays to be made. At the end of the day, they just did not execute well enough in any of the three phases on any side of the football. So, David, moving forward, a lot to take away from this game as they try to win. A lot to take away and a lot to learn from. I mean, losses definitely hurt. They sting, but a lot of times most teams refocus and they get a sense of urgency now that they got a loss in that column. So watch the tape, watch what you need to improve on, and go attack it in practice. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.